What's up, hungry people? Today we're outside of the West Side Market here in sunny Cleveland, Ohio, and we're about to go get us some of the best food that Cleveland has to offer. The West Side Market in Cleveland, Ohio is one of the last public markets in the United States. Cleveland is just a short drive from Medina, where we currently live. Depending on the level of construction happening around the city, the drive into Cleveland can be spectacular. One of my favorite views of Cleveland is from the Hope Memorial Bridge, which is flagged on each end by the Guardians of Transportation. The bridge is just a short walk from the market, and it's totally worth the quick walk to get the best view of the land. Getting into the market's parking lot is an experience in and of itself, and apparently the city now charges by the hour after 90 minutes on the premises, which for someone like me is definitely not enough time to soak up the entire market. But that hasn't stopped hordes of people from showing up for one of the quintessential Cleveland experiences. The West Side Market has been a cultural hub for Northeast Ohio since the late 1840s and has grown and expanded with the times, providing the city with a wide variety of vendors that specialize in everything from meats and cheeses, fresh breads and pastries, to coffee, herbs and spices, and an entire building dedicated to exotic fruits and vegetables. If you're lucky and come towards the end of the day, the fruit vendors lower their prices substantially. I was once able to get 10 pounds of strawberries and several tubs of fresh cut fruit for about $10. The first time that I came to West Side Market, I thought that the fruit vendors were all there was to it and was left half wondering what all the hubbub was about. But then I was steered out of the building for produce and into the main building. This time around I thought I was an old pro, but it was inevitable something like this would happen. What's up hungry people? Today we're outside the West Side Market here in Cleveland. The first time I walked into West Side Market, I was instantly overwhelmed with all the options. It's easy to get lost in the market if you aren't walking in with a game plan. There are rows upon rows of vendors with so many different options at each. It's almost impossible to get a good look at everything, especially with the weekend crowds in full force. Westside Market arguably has some of the freshest meat and seafood options available in Cleveland. And the prices are pretty good too. We always have to stop at our favorite flavored jerkies and smokies, and of course take advantage of the delicious variety of seafood. As one of the hottest spots in Cleveland, the Westside Market is always bustling with people. Aside from getting the highest quality ingredients Cleveland has to offer, one of the main reasons people visit the West Side Market is for the food itself. From euros to bratwurst, it's hard to find a bad meal here. Everyone talks about the crepes, and it's one of the few West Side Market experiences that neither myself or my boyfriend had tried. So we made it a point to stop at Crepes Deluxe where we waited easily over an hour for our lunch. But watching master crepe makers at work and then getting to eat the final results was definitely worth it. The West Side Market did have one secret I had yet to crack and that was finding out how to get to the second level to view the entire market from above. We managed to find the narrow stairwell that leads you to the top of the market, and let's just say there's no better view to eat your freshly made crepes than that of the bustling crowds at the West Side Market. The 
Westside Market in Cleveland is hands down one of my favorite spots in all of Northeast Ohio. As Cleveland climbs into the top foodie cities in all of America, it's easy to see why. The market truly captures the vibe of this great city. From busy locals to hardworking immigrants, the market takes the best the city has to offer. And even though I wasn't born and raised here, I've certainly learned to call Cleveland my home.